Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Totoon. Um, I still like picking one of those. I was gonna say one of those big carries. Uh, Love skeletons. Oh, you know what? Where are going to go? Is our scare attack going to lose? He's still level 5, by the way. So he hasn't actually, he doesn't have his ultimate yet. And Hell Scream with a bolt secures the first kill of the game for himself. Disable. And looks like, look at that. Solo, he's going to take a few hits as well. And the snowball rolls in. Oh, Solo, he gets glimpsed back. And is it going to be enough? Looks like Hell Scream, he does have the mana. And nope, he doesn't even use a bolt just with the. By the hack. Yeah. But he's the only one, right? You look at the other side, you're doing pretty well for yourself here. But the Medusa going, and oh, Antris actually loses his life. So Namiga, third kill on the board here. And, uh, I said oiled. Old style the oil, sometimes. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. But no, Miro just builds Greaves and Pipe on every single hero. And Namiga gets another kill, taking out Miro, who we were just talking about. I'll, li I'll live it on a, on a sliver of health. It's like, nope. You can't do that. There's a smoke coming out from Hellraisers, Kiyotaka, as well as Antris. They're going to go top lane here. This could be a really good attempt for them. Radiant Scan does come out. They know they're coming, though. And they immediately start go going back here. The jump is on Vazia. Gets the roar off, but might be a little bit too li too late here. Vazia, very durable guy, though. Taking their time to kill, but in the end, they do get the kill. Antris loses his life, though. So it's a smoke, big rotation, but... Doesn't feel like really. Mid Tusk wants to do just bait those big abilities because he has like 2000 HP and his carry can have fun. Okay, they jump on him. They do get him in the stack storm. Looks like all his mana is burned. And no, the, the Malvin comes to the save. And Kirit is just barely takes any damage. This is all his mana, but he's going to be fine in the end. And so we do lose solo. So Hellraiser, this was a bit of an awkward situation. Mio you know, walks in, wants to RP, but looks like he's not going to be able to get it. The snowball comes out. They're, they're, you know, Namiga, they want to take a bad fight here. The Blood Rite comes out. Nice RP on two people. That's going to be giving Hellraisers their first kill of the game. Uh, sorry, of the, of the fight. But, uh, yeah, they could be coming from the other side. So bad. Is he going to be all right? Gets glimpsed back. Not where he wants to do. Can he hook shot himself out of there? Possibly. But look at that. Kej is like no man left behind. Namiga taking quite a bit of damage here. But it looks like he should be able to make that alive. So they do lose so bad. But oh, the hook shot was actually stolen here. Antares, I think he hook shot himself to his death, and he did. In the meantime, though, Kirti standing in the in the, in the background, sorry, in the background, just pumping out hit after hit. It's a one for one trade overall. Namiga again taking a shot does come with the fact that Rubik himself is probably going to be losing his life in the meantime. Smoke comes out, Hellraisers. Oh, they do walk into them. Huge RP! And they are going to be able to throw some great follow-up here. Uh, but it looks like uh, they're going to be losing... Hellraisers is the one who are taking more damage, actually. Amira loses his life. The Roar comes out on the Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker, is he going to be losing his life as well? Yes! The, the Hawk is, falls down. Antris and Solo as well. The only from from uh, Hellraisers, there's got one very deep board. Actually, can we look at the Hawk? Is he going to be okay here? And there you go. He, there's so, the, no. Yep, just the hookshot come out, comes out. He doesn't want to TP. Because if he gets what? If he TPs, there's got ways to cancel it. the hawk. Yeah, he's going to lose his life. Very unfortunate. I think they might have known he's around, actually. And Vazir, oh, sorry, the oh, Malvi no. does find him. Boss punch does land. Do they have, do they have the hookshot in time? They do! Holy moly, they're going to be able to get the kill. Malreen with the, what a What a play, by the way. Thunder Gods. Perfect. And get a big RP and follow it up with the Static Storm and Storm Aghanims. They have a chance. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to be losing Miro in this fight, and eh, the Hawk does make it out alive, but I don't know about this big RP if it's happening or not. We saw one decent RP come out of the top lane, but even when it happened, there was just no damage. And smoke up, they say, you know what? Maybe we could fight someone. Kyrgyz almost level 20, and uh, looks like they might have an idea of where he is. Can they actually find anyone here, though? Uh, they are establishing some vision. Solo, he's gonna walk, he walks into them. Oh, you can't need to Three man RP, it's pretty good. But the roar comes out and soon as, all right, Storm jumps in, grabs him as well. But I mean, they just lost two people so far. Kiyotaka realizes he can't do anything. He runs away, meanwhile, the Hawk, he's gonna be losing his life as well. And I think, honestly, at this point, Hellraisers, this might be the time to call. I, oh, dude, so bad. How many of these has he gotten? And Antares also loses his life. They were not able, but looks like she doesn't even need to. And I don't know if they're going to make make it in time. Oh, they're going for the wraparound. And uh, looks like they spotted. And oh, dude, so bad. Again with the beautiful hook shot. And Mio loses his life. 
This might be very risky because oh, so is also taking a few hits. Roar comes out on the hog, and uh, all right, the stack starts, drops, and Gigi's just called. They recognize it. You know, they see the writing on the wall. They decide that it's just not worth the time or the effort. Namiga take game one, and was there any point that that was in doubt when played? Not really. Yeah, I'm not a super big fan of Ember. Mm. Yeah, let's see. I have some faith in the Namiga boys. They have their oh. silencer. It, it's just a matter of time. Oh, speaking about silencer, he is gonna get gone on stun as well, and that's gonna be first blood for Hellraisers in the top lane at the same time. They kill Hellscream as well, so. Ember already only has two right now. And uh, yeah, uh, so Miero will be able to make it out. I keep calling Vazi, I don't know why, but Miero will be able to make it out of fine. The bushwhack lands, but the snowball comes in. It's a good amount of damage, and they're gonna get the kill here. Nice rotation, another pounce as well. This should be a dead Antares. There, Vazia. The sun landed. Oh, I heard oh, it. I, I the, yep. Oh, there we go. They do kill Vazia. That was a bit cocky by him staying there. Especially, I guess, and the Stampede also helped him get right where he needed to get that kill on the Hawk. And, I mean, that was crazy, because the Hawk is even number one now with his Kiyotaka. Ooh, we see an engagement on the mid lane. Uh, Bushwalk is not quite gonna hit, but they... Boy, that's Diabolic Edict. You know, if uh, if they decide to rotate on the Miga, you could see in any lane that they leave just lose towers just straight up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be a big deal. Kiyotaka getting... Getting close to his bloodstone. And Miro. Oh, I feel like he is gonna die here. Another rotation by Maureen. And that's another permanent. Game is going in that direction where Namiga is gonna take it? Or no, this is pretty w worse than you thought. I am a little bit worried for Namiga. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like even when they're behind, they're gonna have a lot of damage. And they get a kill into Kiyotaka as well. That is huge. He was the biggest hero for Hellraiser, so now Antares gonna be in trouble as well. No permanent intelligence, no stolen intelligence there, but still good amount of damage. And the Hawk doesn't have his ulti right now, does have a stun, taking a good amount of oh, damage here. Is he gonna go down? That would be huge. And he is gonna go down, double kill. What's coming out from the Miga? They got two in the uh, triangle. And well, we Kiyotaka see another again. attempt to Kiyotaka. Global Silence coming out with a Walrus Punch. That's Kiyotaka dying a third time. Even more intelligence stolen. And Maureen, I'm not sure if he's done yet. Hellscream throwing out the bolts as well. Solo hiding in the trees. So is Antares. But they need to be careful because the range of engagement oh. for the Miga is huge. And now the stack as well. You see the Thunder God's Wrath coming out, and the Miga is contesting this, and Antares... So low, which means he's, he's going to be have, you know, doing a good job of keeping those towers alive. And Kiyotaka walks in, does have the Bloodstone active though. It's the Bloodstone, but we see the Global Silence coming out. Is this going to be enough healing? No! Despite the Bloodstone, he still goes down, and Solo is going to be in a bit of trouble as well, but uh, Stampede is going to bail him out. But once again, Kiyotaka goes down and now the arena as well onto Antares. Can he hit the spear? The answer is yes. And this is going to be a dead hoodwink too. So even more... It's more like death by a thousand cuts than anything. So it does feel like that living armor can negate a ton of what he does. We see a smoke coming out from Hellraisers now. Let's see if they can find something big here. But on there is the blink and the stampede from the center deck going onto Maureen. But he's a very tanky hero on the turnaround with the arena. Zeus going for the ulti as well. Kiyotaka taking so much damage. He's gonna go down. Floyd going down on the side of Hellraisers. Only Antares running away for now. But he's not in the clear just yet. But he is gonna live. Four kills for Namiga. What a turnaround. They tried to go on the task, but he was just... What's also crazy is you give, we're giving out free money on the bedroom website. Just click on the bow down below. You see a kill into the center. The first time. You can keep going with the, the sponsor plug because Miro is already dead. I know. I know. It's all right. I'm done. I'm done. Miro dies them the game. For Hellraisers, it gives them a very solid avenue oh, to come back into it. Coming out from Hellraisers, this could be a big fight. Both teams under vision. We see the initiation onto Kiritaka, Thunder God's Wrath. He is still alive for now. Sentai taking a lot of damage as well. No one quite died yet. Really nice overgrowth coming out from Solo. Uh, the Hawk goes in, but he's already so incredibly low. Pops the concoction. Can they kill this Hyatt Mice? A lot of damage coming out, but the answer is going to be no. And now Kiritich is in the fight as well, so it's going to be Solo dying first. The Hawk used his BKB 
So he's just in a lot of trouble right here. Tries to go for a concoction. Nice stun by Miro. Once again, more damage coming onto this Mars. But he's incredibly tanky. Kyritic is going to back off a little bit. Maureen quite deep as well. And finally, they do get the hack with the shot. So it's just a one for one. Uh, get them anything. And they only lost, what, the silencer? You'll trade your silencer for an alchemist every day of the week if you can. Antares, uh, looks like he's found as well. He's going to be losing his life. Feels bad, but oh, nice pushback into the stun. Maureen taking a lot of damage here. Just 30 HP left. One more double edge would do it, but they have so much control onto Nemiga. And at the same time, Kiritich takes down Kiyotaka as well. Warus punch onto Miro. Miro is not squishy himself. Hellscream is completely out of mana as well. I feel like most of uh, Nemiga is going to be out of mana. And Solo joins the fight as well. Slowly but surely, Miro is dying. Does have a blink. And he blinks forward onto Hellscream. Maureen going for another Warus punch. Miro, just like a few more hits would do it. And there they go. They do get the kill onto Miro. It looks like Solo is going to be fine for now, but that was crucial. Some of its effectiveness. Oh, actually, Kiritich going into Kiyotaka once again. He has the BKB now. But he still doesn't want to commit. We have the stamp hit popped. They're going in, but Solo is very deep and he's going to get bursted now. And there we have the global silence, the Huck. He has his BKB and his ulti, but he's going to have to use it to run away. Do we have any shirts coming out? Warus Punch into the self concoction, but now the BKB is done. Security is going in. The Hawk gets absolutely blown up. Thundercoats Red coming out as well. Now it's going to be Nero who's going to be going down as well. Kyotaka has his BKB pop Bloodstone as well, but it's him against the world, and the world will be victorious there. 5 for 0 in favor of the Miga. GG is called, and that was a really quick 2 0. Yeah, it's. I don't, I don't think either game went to even half an hour. Nimiga. Right.